Okay, hi. So this is the main entrance to the Queen's Mine and the Queen's Mine area, which is the area that we've got. Uh, this building here is intended to be the main mine, main mine offices, and we're going to head up the mountain along that path there. Now, as we go, I'll point out some of the mine features to you and some of the veins that are still outstanding. We'll visit a couple of the mines, uh, have a look inside. You can see some of the veins. We'll have a look at some of the old abandoned mine workings, which can be easily reopened because the... Um, the basic structure is there, it's just old and flooded. And let's go on. So on the way up to the main mine head, what we've got here is an abandoned pathway that leads to yet another mine entrance. As I say, this mountain was um, excavated and really discovered by the British, but they abandoned mining here, not because of exhaustion, but because of the end of colonialisation, and it hasn't been touched since. And the place is just absolutely rich in graphite. So this is uh, looking up to the walkway up to the mine head and the uh, university, the head of uh, geology came down here and he scanned this area and um, running down that hill that you can see there, there are a further eight veins running down this hill in this section here. Okay, we're now at the entrance to the abandoned Queen's Mine, which is also on the land that we have the rights to. And you can see the veins still running in the rock over there, Bap was playing the light on that vein. Now, the British uh, mined this, and the reason they pulled out was because of the end of colonialisation. This mine still has a tonne of graphite in there. Now, if we look towards the entranceway of the mine, you can see the old road there that's long since overgrown, and in the side of the rock, you can see the old drill holes that they were drilling in order to break this rock up. So, we're not talking about a great deal to actually get this mine back into operation and to be pulling out some high grade graphite. Again, all these veins are all part of the vein structure that we're exploring and mining, and we have the rights to this. Okay, so you can actually get a measure of the size of that vein hand there. Hand it down, Papa. Hand it. Hand, hand, hand on. Touch ground. Yeah. Have a look at Papa's hands and the thickness of that vein. And this is just scratching the surface. OK, we're now in the abandoned tunnels and we've gone to the limit of where the water flooding starts. And you can see Bapa is there showing you how deep that water actually is. And if you look over to the side there, Bapa? Oh. Huh? Egg pen under. Uh -huh. So you look over to the side there with shining light, you can see more veins of graphite. And pretty substantial veins as well. They're about eight, ten inches in thickness in places. Absolutely astounding. This place is littered with this stuff. So at the moment we're standing on a ridge between two old mine entrances. So down in that bottom of that ridge there is one old entrance. And if we go across here, down the bottom of that ridge there, is another old mine entrance. And our mine intersects all of this. <laughs> so basically, the whole mountain is laced with veins of graphite and we're the only ones mining here and we have the rights to it and it's all over the place. Even when you're walking around you don't have to walk very far, far before you're tripping over a stone that is just covered in graphite. As an example, it's absolutely everywhere. So to give you an idea of the mine's location we're now coming up to the top platform of the mountain and you can see the valley below and the other mountains across there. What a beautiful view. So this is one of the uh, secondary mine entrances they've got. This is from a, an abandoned uh, attempt at mining. And um, there are veins down there and a lot of water. So here we are in the secondary entrance. Okay. The is there. Yeah, really, I'm going to tell you the buffer is there showing the water flooding, so there's quite a lot of flooding there as we go through. But the vein we're actually following is up there in the ceiling. That vein joins up. So we're about half a kilometre from the other mine entrance now. And you can see the vein there, and it follows up along there. And there's the water flooding. And Bapa's going to show you the bats. And we've got a little family of bats just living there. How cool is that?
Hi guys, we're at the bottom of the first shaft, so if you'd like to follow me, I'll give you the grand tour. So, we were tunnelling through here, coming through, and obviously we did have a look to the right, but as we were going right, we actually found that more veins were down here, so we decided to pursue the path down here. So as we come through, what I'll do is I'll point out the veins as we intersect, because so one of the common traits of a good mine is that you have a lot of few veins in five feet sections, and then these veins will join underneath. So if I came down here, and then I'll point it out, there we go. So as you can see here, it's a very small one, but that was the first small vein that we intersected. And then we kept drilling. And as you can see here, there's another vein. If you want to get a shot around here, you can see the other vein there, another small vein. And then as we kept coming through, here's a bit of a bigger vein here, as you can see. And obviously these veins, they're like sheets. So, you know, we're looking at the vein is not just sort of, you know, a, a lump which just forms. You know, it's coming from the ground underneath. So the miners are saying like, you know, this vein will, we can follow all the way down. But obviously as we were tunnelling through, we were looking for a vein which was of a bit larger size because once we find that vein, we can tunnel down and then these veins will grow to, you know, a possible one metre in size. So, you know, it's nothing lost. We can always look for these veins further down as we come through here. So, we're coming to, towards the end of, of the tunnel. And then what, one of the interesting things, again, an, another vein here. So that was another vein that we intersected. And then one of the amazing parts that we came down here was, as we, if you can imagine that they're sort of drilling uh, into this cave, as you will have. And then as they're drilling, they hit that, which is a huge vein of graphite. Now, when they hit this vein, obviously, firstly, that we were very handy. What we looked at was, okay, we've hit this vein now. It, it looks to be of a very good thickness once we drilled it. So what we did was, we looked at a good direction. Obviously, we have to look at, you know, the strength of the rock because, uh, you know, we can't tunnel at, at weak rock places because obviously it will cave in. So we have to pick the right spots of where we are, we are drilling and then where we are actually mining to, to make it a secure and safe mine. So what we did was, we found this vein and then we followed it straight down across. So if you'd like to follow me, followed it all the way down here. Obviously you can see the thickness of it was in there. And then we followed it all the way across until we came to the, the opening of the second shaft. So this is where we got up to and then we followed it down now. Thank you very much. Hi guys, so we're at the top of the second shaft. This is our captain, Barkma. He's in charge of the mine here. Couldn't do it without him. And basically, we've come to this vein now. It's basically like a wall of graphite which we, which we found. And then what we did was we followed this vein straight across and then obviously got to a point where we said, okay, we're going to build the second shaft down now. So we followed that vein down and then we got to the bottom now and then we're going to be following it to the north, south and obviously to the east and to the west. Here are the guys at the bottom of the second shaft. The second shaft is about 20 feet deep and if you look at that wall, that wall is a vein of graphite. Now the thickness of that vein is shown in the corner there, shells pointing out in the corner now, in the bottom corner. There we go, you can see how thick that vein is. Now that vein continues to the left and right and also down. And as it continues down it will broaden into a pocket and we're expecting to hit about, uh, about 20 tonnes or so in that pocket. Now the guys have also done some core drilling to the wall at that vein and they've gone 9 feet the other way and found even more veins. And on the opposite wall they've also been doing some core drilling and found yet more veins. So this has been really quite a rich shaft and quite a lot of things found in it. How cool is that?
So here we are at the bottom of the Queen's Mine. We're about 20, 25 feet down from the first shaft. This is the current vein that we're following here. As you can see, we found it up at the top here, and we're following it down now. As you can see, it's as wide as the shaft, and uh, obviously it carries on to the left, and obviously on to the right, and obviously it's carrying on down. And as you can see, over here, we can see a good part of the thickness there. So, it's a very, very good size. A very good size, and we're following this down. And uh, the experts are saying that in about five to 10 feet time, we will follow into a pocket, which can be of any size, up to five, up to 20 tons in a pocket. So uh, we'll keep you posted.